Na ti Allah ti Rasul ulil amri minkum and always a reminder for myself an abdukal ajisa da'if wa miskeen wa zalim jahat but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence. Alhamdulillah that Allah granted us this blessed Muharram and to dress into the oceans of humility and istighfar and mafira. Allah's Divinely Grace, God Almighty's Divinely Grace is the first month of this journey and its immensity with all the remembrance of the holy souls and the holy events through Muharram dressed and filled with immense lights and immense realities. We pray that Allah dress us from them and bless us from them and forgive our shortcomings. And as a result of the lights of Muharram and within the next Sunday or this coming Sunday or Monday is the opening of the holy month of Safar. Safar khair in that Allah inshaAllah open from His oceans of haybah and majestic lights and that the holy month of Safar is the opening of entering into the cave in Surat Al-Kahf. And that Allah dress us from its immensities and the realities of the cave and that this journey is a journey from or within ourselves. And the hardest struggle is within the self and to take a life in which the outside of difficulty and life of difficulty and stress and as soon as we train we realize that our only safety and satisfaction is our ability to reflect and go inward. And the power of the cave becomes essential in our existence, it becomes the source of our refuge and the source of our power and connection. For if we train our lives that every time there's a difficulty like having a bomb shelter, that when the surface is under attack you're trained to go underground. And God gave to us, Allah gave to us our own underground which is our heart. That is the exterior of our life is bombarded with testings and difficulties and confusions. Then Allah is opening for us, for those to go in and become from the Ashab al kaf the companions of the cave. Means that companionship is with the love and the ishq of the prophetic reality that when we love the Divine. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. Then we follow and adhere to the prophetic reality. It's that love that draws us into the heart because that's where the heart is the magnet of that love that when we apply that love for the Divine the Presence, love for the prophetic reality, it emanates within the heart of the servant and becomes a magnet in which to pull us into that reality. Means that that path then becomes so much easier based on love. When we have that love, when we develop that ishq and that good character and that, that desire to be with the Divine, it calls us and pulls us into that reality so that when we make our contemplation we feel drawn to enter into the heart. We feel drawn to enter into the companionship and the companions of the heart, Ashab al kaf means the companions of the cave and that cave is the the love of the prophetic reality, the cave in which Prophet ﷺ's holy heart is emanating and his Divinely lights and beatific lights of his soul 
is emanating as a result of being in that location within the heart of the servant, it draws our entire being back into the cave. And that becomes the importance of the cave and that the, the heart is the Kaaba. Every reference to the Holy Kaaba in Qur'an for us to understand is a reference to the heart of the believer. Neither Allah not on heavens and not on earth but I'm within the heart of my believer. And that when we clean the heart and take a lifelong effort of cleaning the heart, purifying the heart, continuously throwing out the idols of the heart, the material world is continuously trying to place idols within our heart. And we described that before that the, the whole process of tawaf and the circumambulation, the whole understanding of hajj and making a pilgrimage to the heart, pilgrimage to the house of God, all of that the servant reflects towards themselves. That the pilgrimage, the true pilgrimage to God is leaving bad and moving to good, leaving the outside world of form and migrating into the heart. That God cannot be found on the outside, His signs are everywhere. You go to the ocean, you say, SubhanAllah, you go to the, the mountains and everything that's beautiful upon this earth of nature, we say, SubhanAllah, glory be to Allah And we see the signs of the beatific creation but to find the Divine the Presence requires the pilgrimage and the real hajj that begins inward. The washing of oneself, the disconnecting of the form and beginning to enter within the heart of the servant. And then the reality of difficulties on the outside is to draw the servant inside because it's a calling of love. When the servant is too distracted by the outside Allah begins to throw difficulties on the outside that, why are you going out there, I'm in here. And the reality of difficulties and testings begins to understand or unveil itself is an expression of love with the Divinely Presence. That, why are you wasting your time outside, balance yourself, train yourself on how to spend time inside. When the servant can make their pilgrimage into their heart and that becomes a, a year-long process into that hajj. As we said before, the reality of hajj is they wouldn't get on a plane and fly there, they would set off in a year's journey. So what one used to do physically by taking away your assets, sell your business or whatever the people would do for hajj, imagine hundred years ago no planes. They would sell what they have, they would say their goodbyes and they would set on a journey of 12 months at least in journeying to reach towards Mecca and Medina. And that symbolically is being done on the spiritual path that as we begin the first month this is a 12 month journey to the 12th month. It's a journey inward for the believer in which they are making their hajj, they are now entering into the cave, they're making their approach into that reality. They're asking Allah God Almighty to help them to wash their heart, cleanse their heart, retreat into the inner core of their reality so that they… to be companions with this love and this Divinely love. That Allah's love is emanating with the reality of Muhammadun Rasulullah and the love of all the Prophets. When one keeps that love within their heart, the respect of all of the Holy Prophets, all their lights are residing within the heart of the servant. That's in the levels of the heart book that the soul of Sayyidina Isa, Jesus Christ and peace and blessings be upon him must be within the heart of the servant. Means you be with whom you love. When Prophet was teaching for us, love all the Prophets, they're all my brothers. Means that when we love them they all reside within our heart and every step of the way they're teaching us our eternal journey. That they have a message at their time but they have an eternal message that is beyond space and time. 
in which is in an eternal message in which to always reach and perfect oneself towards the Divinely Presence. So it means then safar and opening of safar is such a majestic energy that everything on the outside is, is in a continuous shaking and crumbling and difficulties because Allah is calling upon the servant, don't look out, look in, that this is a time in which to enter into the cave. So those whom try to keep their discipline of meditating, contemplating, putting a few minutes every day in which to reflect inward, to go into their heart, ask to be dressed by these tajallis, blessed by these tajallis, then alhamdulillah Allah opens for them a majestic light. And that majestic light has a immense blessings, immense dressings and, and to be dressed from the people of the cave in which Allah described their reality in Surat Al-Kahf that they have a immense hayba, majestic might is upon their souls that we want to take from that light and take from that reality. Alhamdulillah that when you go to the app and begin to recite and read that it's the opening of the power of eighteen and the reality of eighteen because it's the second lunar month of nine, the second power of nine, each of these are powers of nine. This is the reality of nine times two, the second nine which becomes the power of eighteen. The eighteenth surah of Qur'an begins to dress us and draw us near and dear into that reality. So that becomes an immense importance and the app gives an awrad of what to recite on a daily basis, I believe seven Surat Al-Feel and Surat Al-Kafirun and we described before the Surat Al-Feel again because of the protection in this month. This is all in reference to the heart when Ashab Al-Kaf are the companions of the heart. Means the cave of the Divinely Presence is the heart of the servant and the recitation of seven Surat Al-Feel is for the protection of the heart of the servant. As Allah protected the exterior house of the Divinely Presence when in the, the, the battle of the elephant when they came to make an attack against the Holy Kaaba, the people of that area retreated and said that this Kaaba has a Lord that all God Almighty will defend the Kaaba. So they retreated and the whole story of Surat Al-Feel will go next, next week inshaAllah began to attack and Allah defended His house. And that's the same understanding for our eternal because we have to take an eternal message and understand how do we apply that today. So the awrad in, in this month has Surat Al-Feel because of the importance of safar and opening of the cave and the heart. That Allah were asking, Ya Rabbi that make my heart to be your Divinely house, this Divinely cave in which I can seek refuge from everything of shaitan and that your light and, and those whom you love reside within my heart. Not those whom have gone astray and those whom bring your anger but your Divinely light within my heart. And you are the defender of my heart for I have no ability to defend myself against satanic attack and, and the enemies of the Divinely Presence that want to come against my heart and my path and my direction. Means then the recitation of Surat Al-Feel seven times daily is for the protection of the heart and the seven layers and levels of the heart that are in the immense oceans and realities of that ocean of uh, Divine blessings. So by reciting the Surat Al-Feel we're asking that Allah as you defended the Holy Kaaba that defend my heart in which it becomes a Kaaba and your light to reside within my being and that your Divinely grace to reside within my being. If Allah's light is going to be residing within the heart of the servant then the servant has to be in the company of Nabi'een Shuhadaqeen, Shuhadahi wa Salihin means that these are the four categories that Allah is with them 
the righteous servants, the martyrs in which they martyred their physical bodies or their spiritual martyrdom in which their desires died and they witness the reality. And Siddiqeen, the truthful companions whom truthful with their deeds and with their actions in the accompanying of the holy prophets of the Divinely Presence and the category of Nabi'een means loving and respecting the companionship of all the holy prophets of the Divinely Presence. If we keep these four categories of love and companionship then Allah's guarantee from Holy Qur'an is that, I am with them, I am with Nabi'een, Siddiqeen, Shuhadahi wa Salihin. These are the best of company to keep. So alhamdulillah that this is a month, the holy month of Safa, we say it a little bit early coming on Sunday so people can say, oh I, I understood what to do, I understood to take a shower, welcoming, do the etiquette of welcoming the holy month of Safa with the understanding that I'm entering not outside to find God, I'm entering inside to find your reality that sanctify my heart, make my heart to be your Kaaba, defend my heart as you defended the Kaaba Ya Rabbi. And the Arba'eed, the Arbabil, the birds that come to defend Allah make for us angels that come to pelt all the shaitans whom are trying to attack our heart and deviate our heart from His Divinely Presence inshaAllah. So many, many, many blessings with the lights of Safar and the majestic lights and, and Hayba, what we call the majestic lights of Safar that illuminate the heart and dress with the might of Divinely might and Divinely power inshaAllah. We pray that Allah dress us from its realities and that the secrets of uh, Surat Al-Kahf begin to dress us and bless us inshaAllah coming in Sunday, Monday depending upon where people are. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amni yasifoon wa salaamu ala mursaleen Muhammadillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa bi siri Surat al-Fati. As Salaamu Alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Narjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh.